Hello, mayors, and welcome back to another episode of Build It With Smith. I'm your host, Smith, and we are back for the second installment of the Best City Layout Series. Well, it's more like a mini-series, but you guys get the point. Okay, so on the last episode, we placed our police, fire, and health services. Then we laid out the roads. Now, we're going to get ready to strategically pace these buildings so that they get the optimum population boost. Okay, now the next thing that we need to worry about is making sure that our factories and other buildings that produce pollution are not having a negative effect on our residential buildings. Now, did you know that if you bulldoze buildings, you get one half of the simoleons back that you spent? Well, that's going to come in handy here because I am going to bulldoze these coal power plants and replace them with the oil power plant because... Uh, one oil power plant covers 40 buildings and it has a smaller pollution data layer. This, all that brown stuff there. Okay, it seems like the power plant is just a tad bit too close to those other buildings. And in order to fix that problem, I'm going to have to delete these roads and move it a smidge over here and put the factories one space further away from the residential buildings. Making sure that all of our residential buildings are outside of the pollution data layer is very important because your sims will move out of the buildings if they're too close to the pollution. All right, so I think that we've accomplished what we intended for this video. And on the next episode, I'm gonna show you how to boost your population. So make sure to like, comment, and subscribe to this channel and we'll see you next time.